There's not that many companies that, that make it to their 100th birthday. P.J. Dupree stated that Herman Miller should be a good steward of the Earth's resources. You know, those statements in and of themselves are pretty pedestrian today. But if you look at the context and the timing when they were said, back in 1953, people weren't thinking like that. I like to say I think about sustainability with a capital S. It includes environmental sustainability and the impact that our products or our business has on the environment. We're design-driven organizations, right? And design solves problems. Sustainability is just another problem that we have to solve for. I think it, it's back to this idea that at, at Miller Knoll, we do what's right, not what's easy. I think one of the hardest parts of pushing this rock of sustainability up the hill, we had previously been working to manage our carbon footprint through spreadsheets. It's hard to believe, but you know what? You can manage a, a two and a half plus billion dollar company with Excel. When we had the opportunity to leverage a software platform designed to do that versus having a 20,000 long line item spreadsheet, my team was pretty excited. We're a Salesforce customer. We use Salesforce products to manage our business. We've been transitioning our data over to the Net Zero Cloud platform. Net Zero Cloud allows us to very efficiently track and manage our energy usage and our carbon footprint across the globe. Having visibility into our carbon emissions is a game changer. If we can start to make that visible, through a product like Net Zero Cloud, and then we can start to manage that on a, almost a real-time basis, so you can course correct when you're off track. That's the power of the tool, is now what was invisible is visible. The connection between Miller Nolan and Salesforce, it works because we've got a common set of values. All of those things coupled together are what we're trying to work on to use our business as a force for good across the planet from an environmental and a social perspective.